Ralph, the four suspects arrested in this case are charged in connection to a meth distribution ring that authorities say covers several counties and actually goes out of state as well. The methamphetamine seized in this investigation is valued at close to $300,000. 33-year-old Angela Marie Dale of Irvindale Lane in Morganton, 42-year-old Troy Noman Powell of West Lenore Drive in Lenore, 35-year-old Heather Nicole Swanson of Donahue Place in Lenore, and 44-year-old Jeremy Matthew Magnus of Gillsville, Georgia, were all arrested last Tuesday, February 4th, by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers, as previously reported here on WHKY. All four suspects are charged with felony trafficking in methamphetamine. Dale and Magnus are additionally charged with felony counts of maintaining a vehicle or dwelling for a controlled substance. The Alexander County Sheriff's Office released more information on the arrests yesterday. That agency reported that the suspects were arrested in connection to a major methamphetamine distribution ring in Alexander County as well as other counties here in western North Carolina. A three-month surveillance investigation was launched involving the four suspects. Authorities were led throughout western North Carolina and into Georgia. Further investigation led to the seizure of a large quantity of U.S. currency, two vehicles, and a large quantity of meth. The estimated street value of the meth seized in this operation, according to North Carolina State Drug Guidelines, is approximately $291,300. Authorities say Magnus was a major distributor of methamphetamine to Alexander County and Western North Carolina. Magnus and Dale were taken into custody after a vehicle stop in Granite Falls. Powell and Swanson were taken into custody after leaving a residence in Caldwell County. Following their arrests, all four suspects were placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center in Lenore under $500,000 secured bond apiece. Dale has a district court appearance tomorrow. Magnus Powell and Swanson are all scheduled to appear in district court February 26th. Reporting for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.